All right, so I want to talk about God, and not like the religious God. The character God in One Punch Man, and this is just the name of this character. It has no kind of religious or creation type of bearing on him, or at least... I certainly hope not, but I'm pretty sure that this is just like a powerful being in this universe of One Punch Man. So I want to explain who he is, what he's about, what he could do, and I also want to explain like who he isn't, because that's also a whole big thing to this guy. So I'm sure a lot of you watching this are familiar or have at least seen or heard about the comic known as Saitama vs. God. I mean, it's constantly re-uploaded on YouTube. There's constant videos made about it. Because, like, why not? Look at the views that this gets. I mean, 2.3 billion views in four months? Why is this? Well, it's because of the casual One Punch Man fans and the even more obscure fandom outside of that who probably hasn't even seen it, but they know of Saitama because of how more or less popular he is and how he's compared to other characters in pop culture and whatnot. And you seeing Saitama vs. God makes you think, oh, this must be the end of One Punch Man. This must be when he fights the final boss and he's literally fighting God. I mean, that's a super juicy, enticing, clickbait-worthy name. I mean, come on. But this is just a fan comic. Now, I know a lot of you know that already, but judging by these views and the comments that I personally get, there are a lot of people that do not know this, and it's not really their fault. Simminglap, the artist who created Saitama vs. Scott, is very talented. And it's difficult to distinguish his art from a professional manga, because especially for those who aren't in the know, so you just assume like, oh, this is official, this is what happened. And also, the fight itself and the abilities that you see and everything else is not even based on anything that has happened in the actual series, we know very little about the character of God. So that's why I wanted to make this video. So now that I've got that out of the way, I, you know, just letting you know that this is all fan stuff, none of it is canon even remotely, let's get into what actually is canon. So in the manga, we are first introduced to this character in chapter 113, and later in the video I'll go into webcomic stuff. But for now I just want to keep it clean and non-spoilery. So, when Homeless Emperor is giving his backstory and the origin of his powers to Zombie Man, he says that he received them from this being that calls himself God. And we first see him as being like this ethereal, like, circulatory system, humanoid type thing. And he shows up after Homeless Emperor essentially renounces society. Basically because of how we harm the earth and the ecosystem and all of that. And he's so deeply entrenched in this idea that he's willing to give his own life just so he can return to the earth. You know, because your corpse decays and all that. And then that's when the circulatory system ethereal being appears. And he's like, you are correct. Humans are foolish. But you have no need to die. I will grant you power what to do with this power, you should know. And that's when he receives the light sphere energy projection abilities that he currently has. And it makes him so powerful that he goes to disaster level dragon and is granted the rank of cadre or executive within the monster association. So that's showing us that God has the ability to just make any random person a dragon level with the abilities that he could bestow upon them. Now these light sphere energy abilities. They are also very similar to what we have seen from Vaccine Man way back in chapter one and the first episode of the series. So there's a connection, or at least I assume and I'm theorizing, hypothesizing that there is a connection between Vaccine Man, Homeless Emperor, and God. Because also, you know, the artists of the One Punch Man manga, Murata said that Homeless Emperor's light spheres and Vaccine Man's are the same and that's not necessarily saying that there is a definitive connection, but there is something there. But if we go deeper, Vaccine Man says that I exist because of humanity's constant pollution of the environment. The earth is a single living organism. The will of the earth gave birth to me so that I may destroy civilization. So that sounds familiar, right? Well, it's because it's pretty much the same rhetoric that Homeless Emperor was going on about. It lines up with them both hating humans and specifically what they have done to the earth. And God confirms himself in 113 that he doesn't like humans and they essentially all need to die. 
So I assume that God also gave Vaccine Man his powers and that the will of the earth that Vaccine Man is talking about is pretty much God because, you know, it was the first chapter of the series. So they're not just going to straight up say, hey, God gave you these powers. They're kind of keeping more open ended. So that's pretty much it. That is all we know about God. And even with the webcomic and all of that stuff, which I'm going to go into soon, this is pretty much it. God is just some like ethereal type being that comes out of nowhere that hates humans and what they have done to Earth and can bestow dragon level light sphere powers to beings like Vaccine Man and Homeless Emperor. That's all he is. That's all we know about him. Now, I'm just going to take a guess and I'm going to hypothesize what he is exactly. Well, if what Vaccine Man says is true and that the Earth is a single living organism, then it's possible that God is like the representation of that. Like, if the Earth is alive, is a sentient being in the universe of One Punch Man, then we know that with the supernatural powers that just exist in that reality, according to Dr. Genius, you know, the same thing that makes monsters monsters and the same thing that makes the S-Class heroes the S-Class heroes, that type of a power that's out there in the cosmos, maybe it affects Earth. And then that transpired to become God, the ethereal thing that we see here. Maybe that's the Earth becoming a monster, but it's so powerful that it just gave form to this crazy, almost fourth dimensional type being. Now that's a possibility, or God just was always there, and maybe he created the Earth, you know, not like the universe, but maybe he's created specifically the Earth. Maybe he's just kind of some kind of cosmic being or something like that. He could be similar to like Ego from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. You know, they also kind of have like similar forms at a certain point, you know, like when Ego looks like at the end of the movie, it looks similar to what we see of uh, God's initial appearance, and they both are like living planets essentially, or at least in this theory they are. It could be something like that, maybe, maybe not. We can only really guess at this point, because like I've been saying, we don't know anything about this dude except what we see in chapter 113 and what I'm going to talk about now. So that means I'm going into webcomic spoiler stuff. So if you don't want to know what's going to happen, I suggest you check out now. So in the Monster Association War, Zombie Man eventually gets the upper hand on Homeless Emperor and like restrains him and starts interrogating him. And he's like, I still got a lot of questions to ask you about your power. And he's like, you want to know about God? And then as soon as Homeless Emperor says that, He's, his consciousness, not his actual body, but like he's, his mind is transported to like another plane of existence, seemingly. And then he's just confronted by like God's true form, or what we can assume is God's true form. He's like veiny and like fleshy, and he's gigantic. He's like almost the size of Rochi. He looks like he'd be like the boss of Silent Hill or something. And he says, silence, I am taking it back. So... I guess that means he doesn't want Homeless Emperor to be talking about him, especially revealing the finer details about him, because, I mean, he initially let Homeless Emperor tell Zombie Man how he got his powers, but I think if he goes any deeper than that, God doesn't want him to know. And then he, like, destroys Homeless Emperor, like, within his mind. <laughs> like, he sucks him dry somehow, kind of like how Crocodile sucks the moisture out of people with his sand abilities in One Piece. It looks like that. And then he essentially just like burns up and like turns to smoke or whatever. I, the way that Zombie Man describes it, he says he has so much faith that his brain caught fire and burned out, even though there was no fire. And he assumed that he was hallucinating, and then they don't really ever touch on it after that. But yeah, that's it. We know that God can like seemingly kill you within your own consciousness and transport it to like another plane of existence. So this could mean that he's like some kind of fourth dimensional being. I'm not exactly sure because like I said before, your guess is as good as mine, but we know that he can give powers and take them and that he doesn't want people to know too much about him. So in the end, I assume that God is probably going to be the final villain of the series, just taking a guess. Because if he is the one that gave Vaccine Man his abilities, then that means he was set up in Chapter 1, and that the series will probably be bookended on this whole big overarching villain that God is. Now, if you would like to know my thoughts on Saitama vs. God in the actual story, how that might play out, please check out my video, Saitama's Final Battle. Well, 
But that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. Let me know what you think about God. What do you think he is? Do you think he is literally the will of the Earth? Or is he some kind of cosmic being? Or uh, what do you think is going to happen with him? And if you liked the video, please give it a like. I also have a Patreon. It gives you access to a weekly Q&A. If you haven't already, please subscribe as well. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.